Welcome to YouTuber Headlines, a commentary drama channel all about mom content creators. This video contains my opinion, everything is alleged and should not be taken as fact. As always, do your own research and form your own opinions. Recently, Jordan Page went on Dr. Phil. I watched the episode, Did You? Let me know down in the comments. I want to share some of my thoughts and opinions about what she talked about on the Dr. Phil show. But first, I have to show you some of Jordan's cringy Instagram stories. Recently, Jordan Page was on the Dr. Phil show. Let's hear what she had to say. Now, what is your recommended budget per person in the family each month? For groceries. Okay, I don't want to get canceled, but I promise this is a doable number. I recommend you start at $100 per person in your family per month. What? A hundred dollars per person per month? She was just on Dr. Phil recently saying this, even though the price of food has gone up substantially, she's still recommending just a hundred dollars per person per month. And it's funny that she started off by saying, I don't want to get canceled, but she's coming off like she's not confident in her answer. If someone asks you a question, you don't start off by saying, I don't want to get canceled, but... It works, you just gotta stretch it. It's more about what you do with it than it is about what you buy and where and when you buy okay, it. Okay, that's like $3.22 a day. <laughs> it's doable, I promise. Yeah, Dr. Phil's right. It's like $3.33 a day per person. I'm not sure that would work for every family. Every family is different. Some families have allergies. Some families have to eat gluten-free. And some families want to eat clean, which those products cost more than, say, the great value brand at Walmart. Jordan shops at Walmart, and she buys a lot of the great value brand. There's nothing wrong with that. If that's what you like and that's what you want to buy, I think you should buy whatever you want to buy at the grocery store. But I don't think her advice would necessarily work for every family. So how do you do that? What's that consist of? And here's the thing. Are you eating I, rice and beans or no, what? No, I, I cook good food for my family. We eat a lot of meat and protein. I just went over to Jordan's Instagram just for the fun of it because she always posts what she makes for dinner. And this was on Instagram. Jordan wrote on her stories, you're going to have to trust me that these taste amazing because they look disgusting. I mean, there, there's 10 of us. We've got some appetites. It's about shopping wise for one, but I think people put too much emphasis on how they shop. I think it should be more emphasized what you do with the food. Jordan says it's important to shop wise, but did you know Jordan doesn't believe in coupons? I was shocked actually to hear her talk so negative about coupons. She said, I don't like them, I don't use them, I don't believe in them, no. There are so many coupons available on apps these days. Why would you not take advantage of those savings? I am not a couponer. I do not believe in them. I do not enjoy them or like them. So sorry if you're a couponer, here are alternative methods, but. This video is from a few years ago, but how can you build your platform off of budgeting and saving money and all of these things, but then say that you don't believe in coupons. She might be the first person I've ever heard in the finance budgeting niche who said they do not believe in coupons. That just sounds wild to me because of the niche she's in. Are you reusing the ingredients over and over and over? Are you opening your fridge first when you plan your meals? That's the trick, really. When you plan your meals, don't plan off the groceries. Plan off what you have in your fridge, freezer, and pantry that you need to use up. Yeah, that's the definition of meal planning. I went to Google, typed in, what's the definition of meal planning? It says, it's the action of deciding meals in advance using your schedule, preferences, foods on hand, seasonal produce, sale items, etc." I'm pointing this out because sometimes, in my opinion, Jordan comes off like she invented meal planning. When most people, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say most people understand and know what meal planning is. So she didn't invent meal planning and I found this comment on Dr. Phil's video. Anyone who takes advice from Jordan should immediately stop. She doesn't practice what she preaches more than half the time. That house has a ton of freezers filled with old meat and she cooks the tiniest, not healthy meals. She also didn't coin the phrase shelf cooking. I'm really not sure how she's even relevant anymore. She acts like buy one, get one free, paid for her entire home renovation, including a $40,000 kitchen, please. 
I wonder where this viewer is getting $40,000 from because I think her kitchen renovation was way more than $40,000. She paid around $1,000 just for a water fountain in her kitchen. Just so she doesn't have to wash cups. She said her kids leave cups everywhere. She wanted to eliminate cups. This is to save the 600,000 cups that we use every day because Davey just said, I'm so thirsty. And I said, oh snap, oh snap, go get a drink. Who's next? We just walk by and it's nice because this is our back door so they can run in and get a drink. So you get 10 people to all eat the same thing? That's a good one, Dr. Phil. He even knows it. He said it while he was taking a sip of his water. But yeah, moms know the struggle is real. To try to get all of your kids to eat the same meal, that's got to be tough, especially for large families. Jordan has eight kids. Are you really saying that all of your kids eat the same meal every night? I am not a short order chef, Dr. Phil, so yes. What do we say, kids? We say, plug your nose and gag it down. If they don't like it, they, <laughs> they, they have to eat it anyway. So she forces her kids to eat the meal that she cooks every night. She really just said, close your nose and gag it down. <laughs> Can you imagine dinner time at her house? Like you're having to force your children to eat food they don't want to eat. Now, I totally get that kids need to try new foods and sometimes they need to be encouraged to try new things. Totally get that. I'm totally down with that. But Jordan's on national TV giving advice to millions of parents and just basically saying, tell your kid to plug their nose and choke it down. Well, I mean, some kids just can't do that. Some kids have sensory issues with food. I'm not buying this and I don't care for her advice on this topic. Telling your kids to hold their nose and choke their food down, in my opinion, this is not good advice. This is dated advice, in my opinion. It comes across as very dated. I think Jordan should have prepared more for this show. She's on national TV giving advice to millions of parents, and her advice is tell your kids to plug their nose and choke the food down. Okay, Jordan. If you want to present yourself, market yourself, and act like an expert, you got to come with the expert advice. And in my opinion, this just wasn't it. Yeah. What do you buy in bulk? What don't I buy in bulk, Dr. Phil? I, everything, including maybe produce or fresh items that you wouldn't use right away. You can chop it up and freeze it. You can put it, cook it in something and freeze it for later. You could split the package with a friend. Split a package of produce with a friend? What? If I buy a huge pack of strawberries, say five pounds, you want me to sit there and split that package with my friend, have my friend send me money to pay for half of the pack. I mean, that just sounds like so much work. Who actually does that? Who actually splits package of produce with friends? Just so you can buy in bulk? What's the point of buying produce in bulk if I'm splitting it with someone, if I'm giving half of it away? What's the point? If you're buying in bulk, the price per pound is cheaper, so I'm sure you're saving a little bit there. Then you have to find a friend who wants to go in on half of your produce. You have to meet up somewhere, invite them over. Maybe you're seeing them at a sporting event. I mean, I don't know. That sounds like a lot of work just to split a package of produce. I found this comment on Dr. Phil's video. So I should buy in bulk for a small family. Sounds like that only works for large families. Limiting myself to $100 sounds tough. What do you think about this? Do you think $100 is enough to feed one person for an entire month? Let me know what you think in the comments. I think you should go check out this video next. Jordan discloses how much she makes with Gab. She makes six figures with one sponsorship. There's a lot of information packed in this video. Definitely go check it out next. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.